uh, hi Bruce, could you please tell us a bit about your background in East Asian medicine? Well, I grew up in uh, South Korea. My uh, father was is a rural healer. Uh, he uh, practiced the acupuncture and also the other uh, studies. And uh, because the, uh, when I was young and my father um, uh, have taught that uh, Confucianism in the very rural area in South Korea. So the I, you know, that behind the shoulder, uh, his, his shoulder that I uh, learned, you know, how to handle the people and how to care the uh, people. And I think uh, um, my father was, uh, uh, had a very compassionate heart that, because that so many people visited my home and uh, they got the uh, needles and the acupuncture uh, services. So, and they helped a lot from the, my father. So that's why I learned the acupuncture in New York. I studied uh, at the Tri-State College of Acupuncture and I met so great uh, eminent uh, masters, the, which is that they practice more than 30 years in the USA. One of the uh, uh, great masters was uh, uh, Nigel Doors. Now we uh, became friends and he inspired me a lot uh, because he uh, studied uh, five years in Japan and uh, two years in China. Uh, when I was took in uh, our program at uh, Trusted College, so the, um, uh, I spent two years with uh, Nigel Doors and also one year for internship. Uh, uh, total of three years we worked together and uh, um, I uh, organized kind of the, you know, they compiled some uh, useful information about the, uh, East Asian medicine in this course. So, yes, uh, you, you co-authored with uh, Nigel Dons that uh, an excellent clinical manual. How was it to, to develop that work? Yeah, the, during the uh, program, the over program, uh, Niger uh, introduced so many references, and uh, I, the all that you know that um, <clears throat> looked up and uh, read the all information, and uh, we discussed a lot. And there's uh, so uh, many the issues, uh, and uh, even we the in clinic we practiced, and uh, when I had the uh, um, issue or situation, I all consulted the Niger, and uh, I thought that, uh, we needed that real, the true the uh, workbook, not the, the theoretical book or textbook. We need the more uh, clinical manual handbook. Mm -hmm. So I studied. Uh, I'm using the Niger's uh, sources, the, mm -hmm. which is from the Dr. Hong and Su or Dr. Uh, uh, Oscar. Mm -hmm. So then I revised, revised, uh, almost I spent three years, I revised that uh, workbook. And I think that uh, primary uh, sources or basic sources uh, from uh, Chinese uh, herbal medicine or all Japanese herbal medicine, I put all the uh, references together and uh, reorganized. Mm -hmm. Then that's why the, I think my book is, uh, um, seventy percent is the uh, campo, thirty percent is uh, uh, classical Chinese medicine. I believe so. Uh, you know that that's why the, it's. Uh, I want to use of the that book for the uh, clinic, not the, the academic the studies. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and so far I've been uh, uh, reading it, and it's very, very, very good. So I think you did an excellent work. And you already told that uh, you you studied uh, um, Chinese medicine and also the uh, kampo, the, the herbal uh, medicine practice in, in, in Japan. So, in, in your opinion, what are the main differences between uh, traditional Chinese medicine, the the classic Chinese medicine, the, what is called uh, Jing Fang, and the the, the kampo, the uh, the herbal medicine practice in Japan? Yeah, the, uh, this is the you know uh, is a uh, kind of a very uh, complex question because that mm -hmm. uh, uh, we call it Chinese medicine. That means in Chinese that Zhongyi mm -hmm. or Zhongguo uh, is well. So that uh, Zhongyi is that uh, 
the literally Chinese medicine or Chinese uh, medical studies, mm -hmm. uh, medical science. So that means that, that now uh, China is uh, like uh, 3,000 years ago, they don't uh, call it not China. They have some, so many different names they have. Mm -hmm. uh, when Chinese medicine uh, get started at that time, there was is Han. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the Han Guo, that is uh, the nation name is the Han. Mm -hmm. Han means uh, like um, <clears throat> like the, they have the two Hans that are, you know there's the Western Han or Eastern Han. Mm -hmm. The Eastern Han that time they developed the uh, Chinese the herbal medicine. That's mm -hmm. why we call it Han medicine. The Han medicine means in Japanese there's Kampo. I think it's the same in Korean same that there's the Han Bang or uh, uh, Chinese means the uh, Han Fua, this mm -hmm. same or Kan Fua. Uh, mm -hmm. Han Fua, Kan Po, Han Bang is the pronunciation, pronunciation is different, but its Chinese character is the same. Mm -hmm. Then, so I think it is my personal opinion that so we have to call the classical Chinese medicine is Han medicine. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a modern Chinese medicine, like modern traditional. Chinese medicine, we call it TCM. Mm -hmm. It's 1950. So, mm -hmm. the in Chinese people, they call it their own. The medicine is a uh, traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah, they have a long history, but that actually this modernized uh, Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. So that is the um, CM. We call it CM Chinese medicine. But there is that when primitive Chinese medicine, this uh, early Chinese medicine is we call it classical Chinese medicine. That's based on Zhang Zhongjing, that is a very eminent uh, healer, the eminent uh, physician, that, uh, that's the Han Dynasty. Mm -hmm. So the, we using the, the uh, Han uh, Dynasty, that uh, textbook, the basic textbook is the, the Shang An Lun and the Jing Guoyao Lu. Then we call it, that it was Jing Fang. That means that Jing means a kind of uh, uh, scripture. Uh, you know, there's classical scripture or classics. Mm -hmm. so, so even this another name is uh, more experiential, you know, experience-based medicine. Mm -hmm. But in Campo, they uh, modernized in, uh, in the 17th and 18th century. In Japanese people, they uh, uh, got to the Chinese medicine through uh, uh, Korea, yeah, from the China to Korea, then to Japan. And the Japan in 17th and 18th century, they uh, bypassed the Ming dynasty in China, China's the Ming dynasty. They don't adopt the Ming dynasty medical theory, which is the uh, organ theory, Zhang Fu theory. So they only did, uh, used for the uh, um, ancient or early Chinese textbook, which is uh, Zhang Zhongjin's text. The Shang An Lun and Jing Guo Lu. Then after that, in the um, uh, 18th, uh, 18th century, this uh, uh, the uh, Kampo founder in Japanese uh, medicine founder is the Todo uh, Yoshimasu. He uh, using only the uh, uh, Shang An Lun and Jing Guo Yao Lu, the two Zhang Zhongjin texts, and uh, they call it in Japanese people they call it the matching of the pattern and formula which is in you know, a uh, pattern is a, a pattern identification or pattern classification. We call it that Zhong um, um, or Shou. Mm -hmm. And also there's a formula that is a, there's a medicine. So when patients, uh, we, when you uh, see the patients and uh, we look at the patients, uh, oh, there's a patient, him or herself has uh, some uh, pattern, the disease pattern, the Byung-Jung, disease pattern. Also, we have a textbook. Textbook, we have classified that uh, many formulas. They have uh, like the, um, the pattern, formula pattern. That we have to find the, uh, you know, lock and key. They have to match each other. That is a typical Kampo uh, style. In Chinese style, very flexible, very creative. You can modify it. any any. That's why in a record in textbook, more than one hundred thousand 
formulas in traditional Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. But in Japanese, the Kampo, we have only 148 formulas, or even expanded 250 uh, formulas. That's all. Mm -hmm. That means the very simplistic side of uh, East Asian medicine. Yeah, and I'm sure it's going to be a good start to study the classical formulas. And, and how important the constitution, the teacher of the, the patient in Kampo? Uh, the the Kampo, um, is a, Kampo is a very unique that, uh, you know, that um, the, as I uh, uh, told you before, that they are in traditional Chinese medicine, they're using eight principles. But mm -hmm. like um, the disease location, the inside or outside, or mm -hmm. interior or exterior. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, before that, more in and yang. Mm -hmm. And then there's a what, what what's the uh, situation uh, of the you know that uh, deficiency or excess pattern or mm -hmm. cold and heat pattern. But in mm -hmm. Kampo, they using only four uh, combinations: the definition uh, deficiency or excess, or cold, or heat. The cold or heat, the section included in yang, the, the Japanese uh, medicine, uh, Kampo medicine, they call it, or they say in disease, that means cold syndrome. The yang disease, that's heat syndrome. So that uh, basically the, in Kampo, they using only four sections, uh, deficiency, excess, mm -hmm. cold, and heat. Very simple. And then in they using the uh, <clears throat> from the Shang Lun or more uh, classics, they adopted the uh, six stages, six stage patterns that we call it like a Tai Yang uh, stage or Tai Yin stage, Yang Ming stage, like blah, blah, blah. This so we have six stages of disease. And then the, that is mostly from the acute acute uh, uh, favorite uh, infection. And then we look at the patient's that, uh, constitution, the body type. Even if patient has that disease, but we have to see the, what uh, patients have that uh, condition. Mm -hmm. Then so we have three uh, basic uh, uh, constitution uh, uh, type. There's cheat type, a blood type, and water type. Mm -hmm. Then we go more deeply the chi, chi deficiency type or chi stagnation type or chi counterflow type like that you know blood deficiency type or blood stasis type mm -hmm. or water retention type or water excess type or mm -hmm. water deficiency type like that basically the chi blood water or fluid there's three a body type we figure out oh that the patients had the, the what type of patient has we have to match the disease pattern and the uh, a patient's constitution type. I so that, uh, this is uh, very important because even if we using the same formula, uh, for example, Guji Fling one, but based on the body type, this results the uh, efficacy is different. Mm -hmm. So the, during the, uh, uh, this program, uh, I uh, introduced the, the, you know, how to figure out the body constitution and uh, when we the palpated that constitution, when you look at the patients, the, when you uh, we are asking the patients that uh, the uh, complaints, then we got the uh, information from patients because we have to uh, find out what the patients has body constitution type. Yeah, and you already talked about the palpation. And how about the, the uh, Fukushima? How important is the abdominal diagnosis in Kampo? Yeah, I think that this is the only the Kampo they're using the uh, Fukushima, but in Chinese people, they didn't use the Fukushima, even if they, the Zhang Zhongjin, they, they mentioned that the, in uh, Shang An Lun, there's mm -hmm. the Fukushima. Fukushima means the abdominal uh, examination or abdominal diagnosis. Mm -hmm. um, but Japanese people using the uh, a lot, but the culturally, Japanese people is very open minded because the, this is the uh, island, the Japan. Uh, uh, Japan is the island, but in China they have a strong the cultural the civilization background or like Confucianism. They have very conservative. They never showed their robe, uh, you know, the body. They only showed the patients only hands and the face. 
that's it. They don't want to open that, you know, the abdomen because the abdomen is the, including heart and chest and the abdomen area is the, the kind of a center of the body. They don't want to show the other people. This is a very private uh, area. Mm -hmm. So in Chinese culture, uh, even if they have in uh, textbook, they don't practice the Fukushima. So that theoretically they using their one, but they only uh, touched the pulse, the wrist of the pulse, the radial pulse, or they look at the tongue or face or asking. Mm -hmm. But in Japanese people, they want to touch the, the uh, belly, the abdomen, because they want to feel it uh, and they want to get more uh, more information about the patient. So that there's a 13 um, different types of Fukushima abdominal diagnosis. So the uh, I learned, I think that I'm very lucky uh, uh, to learn uh, this uh, type of uh, diagnostic tools from the Niger. Uh, when the, you have the uh, workshop uh, in your country, the, my teacher Nigel will visit your place and uh, like a uh, couple days for workshop. He's very, uh, very artistic practitioner and very, uh, I think he's a real pro, real professional the, um, practitioner. And he show a step-by-step -step and the hands-on uh, workshop uh, he run. Uh, now he's uh, pretty much in the London and uh, uh, France and Italy and uh, Israel and Australia. It's all over the world that he has to, uh, every year he's traveling to teach the abdominal uh, examination. Yes, we, so we really hope to, to have him here in Portugal. We are looking for that. And uh, what yes, about the, the, the Bianjiang, about the, the, um, uh, the, the syndrome differentiation you already mentioned? What are the, the um, in a, your point of view, what is the, the Yaojiang and the, the Fangjiang? What is the, the differentiation according with the, with the herb and the differentiation according with the, the formula? Yeah, I think that the uh, Yao Zheng is uh, originally the, from the you know, that's a uh, medicinal plant. You know, that's in Chinese, uh, uh, Shennong, uh, Ben Chao. They mentioned that uh, Chinese medicine is the like uh, Yao means medicine means the medicinal plant. Uh, we we can see the Chinese character that is that you know the plant, uh, like a uh, plant which gives the joy or happiness. Mm -hmm. That means that Yao, that means the medicine. Uh, medicine is uh, supposed to be give joy or happiness from the suffering or pain. So then the uh, Fang Zheng, Fang Zheng is the kind of, uh, you know, the, um, the formula. The formula is that they, the, the more than one single herbs, they, they get uh, put together the, the single herbs and they, uh, <clears throat> that the single ops uh, got a more uh, synergic effect and they have a more strong the results. So that, that's why in Chinese medicine is the, um, more based on uh, Yao Zheng, like the single ops, because there's a four basic theory. There's a king or chief ops or uh, minister, uh, function minister ops, like it, uh, there's the assistant herbs uh, like that. And in Japanese people, they don't care much about the single herbs. They only care about the formula. The original the meaning of the fang means the uh, direction, the which way to go. When the patient have a uh, 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 disease situation, there's a very uh, hard, uh, hard time. And then uh, the, the healer or the, the physician, they give the direction. You take this herbs, you take that herbs, you take the, this herbs, this, uh, you don't take that herbs. You avoid this uh, uh, plant. You should take those that uh, plants, something like that. That is uh, to give the instruction or give the direction. The mm -hmm. fang means the direction. Mm -hmm. There's a, they have a paper, we have a four edges, right? There's four directions. So that's why the, the basic medicine has the four sections. 
Mm -hmm. Even if we have this, you know, uh, five or 10 single herbs, but we classified only four sections. So which one is the uh, cheap herbs? Cheap herb is the kind, uh, is the uh, place or is the cheap functions. So that the, that's why the uh, Fang Zheng is the more uh, very important uh, because the uh, Fang Zheng has the, uh, the effects is the more stronger than single herbs. That, that's why Japanese people, they focus the uh, concentrate on the Fang Zheng, not the single herbs. But and, but, uh, although you, you say that uh, uh, nowadays Kampo uh, doesn't uh, change the, the, the formulas, but it was not always like that, right? For instance, the, the Dr. Otsuka that you already mentioned, in his books, he, he, he personalized the prescription and he changed the prescription according to the clinical needs, right? Right, yeah, there's an exception. Yeah, always, yeah, they, they, they have exceptions. But uh, the basic, uh, basic theory is that uh, Japanese uh, Kampo, they uh, more focused on, on formula. Mm -hmm. and the Chinese people, they more focused on single ops because they want to create it based on patient mm -hmm. situation. But in Japanese uh, uh, style, even for the Japanese that, uh, body constitution is different, they using different formula, not the different single orb. So they are, like you already said, there are lots of bridges between Jingfang and Kampo, right? The, yeah. the, the root is the same, there are lots of similarities, but uh, due to the, uh, the conditions and the history in Japan, they develop a specific path from the Jingfang, right? Yes. Yeah, they're using, yeah, they, now, you know, uh, uh, classical studies, uh, they more, the, um, Japanese people is more the, uh, studied for the Chinese classics. Uh, like, it, even if it's Chinese people, that I think I, I'm kind of the stereotypes, maybe. But the Ch Chinese, they have the cultural revolution in Mao times in, uh, uh, what's the, uh, the, modern China, they mm -hmm. uh, they disconnected the Chinese uh, traditions. Uh, mm -hmm. Even they changed the language. They some, you know, simplify the Chinese character. That, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean nothing, anything. That's why they lost the spirit of Chinese uh, philosophy and culture or civilization. But in, in Korea and in Japan, they're still using the, you know, the, um, the traditional the character. Mm -hmm. So they studied, uh, specialized uh, um, Chinese classics, and that's why when you want to study more about the Chinese classics, you should read the Japanese studies. So in, in July, we are going to start a summer course, the, the course for introduction to classical formers, Kampo. And, and what may the uh, attendees expect from these classes? The number one, uh, I wanted to share the, my the understanding and knowledge and skills about um, East Asian medicine. That uh, this is the, my uh, kind of uh, life journey, and uh, <clears throat> also the, I wanted. Uh, um, uh, uh, I'd like to uh, the, our class to build up the strong foundation of East Asian medicine. Also, the, um, the other thing is that um, I uh, concentrate on the self-study, how to study, because the, in uh, Confucian, uh, Confucian uh, philosophy, our life is, whole, whole life is the, about learning. Learning. We are all the time learning from something. Even the bad uh, things happening, we learn something. So that the learning is that or what we are here, what we live now. So that, um, so the, you know, how to generate, how to study the, the real true medicine by myself. So how to use information and uh, how to, you know, the figure out which uh, references or which uh, uh, study is, is useful for me or something we have to uh, critical uh, thinking, because the, there is a lot of different studies, and the, even for same disease and same medicine, the results is different. 
So we have to use our uh, um, what uh, uh, judgment. Also, uh, I have the uh, you know the, uh, finally I have a strong uh, uh, standard the standpoint for like the in Chinese medicine or Asian medicine. The, the culturally, philosophically, there are three uh, backgrounds. Uh, number one is Taoism, and number two is Confucianism, and number three is Buddhism. But we mostly studied in Taoism style, that's the ancient uh, classical style. But now, modern Chinese medicine, like we, uh, which is TCM, they based on Neo Confucianism, like a Qing or Ming or Qing dynasty medicine. That's a uh, Neo. Confucianism. Then the Confucianism is a more uh, theoretical background. They only did, uh, focus on the artistic uh, 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 theoretical uh, uh, science. So that's what we call it Yui, the Confucian healers, Confucian practitioners. They have uh, uh, they have background. They had a strong background because of, uh, in Song Dynasty in China, uh, they. Uh, had many uh, scholars that they turned to medicine, not the, the you know government uh, officers. So they studied medicine and that they created, they built up the new theory about uh, Chinese medicine. Then it's more complicated, and uh, but Taoist style, oh Taoist style is more the you know intuition based, they were inspired. Only they like a, a sage style. They didn't study, but they uh, practice uh, spirituality. But uh, they have a uh, like a um, like a God or from the, the heaven. But very only few few of them have uh, successful practice because the Taoist practice is very mystical and very mysterious. Mm -hmm. So generally, we study uh, Confucian style. But and I'm gonna use the Buddhist uh, Zen the standpoint that is the when you look at the, the mountain first oh mountain is the mountain and then the second time and then when you live in the mountain or in temple inside the mountain you look at the mountain oh this is not the mountain i thought because inside the mountain there's are many there's a different not mountain sources so and then he denied the mountain you know that they, they find that no 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 them said you have the doubt and the denying that uh, thinking. That's a critical thinking. That's a you are. That's a learning process. After that, you know, you are ten years later, or when you got enlightened, then you saw, that, oh, the mountain. What's the mountain? Yeah, mountain is the mountain. But we experience. We pass. It, we get through the denying or learning process or critical thinking. Then the the phrase is the same. The mountain is the mountain. So they ignore people or the unknown people. They say mountains, mountain, or sage people says mountains, mountain. But the, the, the phrase is the same, but the meaning is different. So the, when you practice our medicine, we have to get past the, that's the, that's the journey. You know, we have to have some critical thinking and a doubt, and a sometimes a denying, or sometimes adopt, or we're we'll follow up, catch up. But everything is learning. That is that we are still not doing medicine. You know, we are, we are oh, this is a Chinese medicine. This is a true medicine. No, this is not the medicine. This is an art or a science or a philosophy. Oh, this is the bullshit. So we have to always, you know, criticize. Then we make clear what is the true, what is the right medicine or right thing to do. So that means that I call it, that, you know, the Tao we or the, the the Chinese medicine or Kampo, Japanese medicine or East Asian medicine is the Tao, not the studies. Actually, not, you know, this is the true Tao. That's why the Confucian people, they call it art or craftsmanship or the barefoot practitioner, they call it the skill, technique. So I don't like it that way. We have to, you know, our life is the, itself is the medicine. So we, you know, we have to step in on the journey of the medicine. That's we let's go. We go together for uh, uh, with Campo, and we practice more uh, deeply in the, 
uh, enjoyably. Okay. Okay. Bruce, thank you very much for your uh, time. Uh, and uh, I hope to uh, start the course uh, in July the 18th so we can uh, start that journey together. Thank you very much. Thank you.